Okay, so my Flex SDR to CIV interface is now finished. This is a short video just giving a quick demonstration of how it all works. So, here's the uh, Flex SDR software. You can see the waterfall there. You can see some beacons appearing on the peaks. And uh, this is receiving around about 15 kilohertz either side of the center frequency from the ICOM 910, which is sitting over here on the beacon. If I just turn this down. So you'll hear that there, and you can see that in the center of frequency. Now what I've then done is I've got a, an interface here, which is based on a PIC, which takes the CAT output from the Power SDR software here, and translates it to CIV for the ICOM. What it needs to do though, is it needs to work out the offset from the center frequency. And the first IF, uh, the final IF, is 10.8. 5 zero for the ICOM, which means I need to work out, if I want to tune to a signal 5 kilohertz up, I need to work out what frequency the ICOM's on and then add 5 kilohertz to it because the power SDR software has no idea what frequency the ICOM's on. So looking at this waterfall, you can see over here the beacon. Now this is GB3 VHF, which is on 4, uh, 144.428. Now the radio is currently tuned to 414.8. So if I was to click on this over here, it should bring it into the center of the, the receiver. It's actually just below it. And also it's retuned the radio to the correct frequency for it. And again, if I find one of the other beacons which is further down, and click on that, there's the, uh, the beacon uh, PI7CIS. So that's how it works. Now there's a few ways I've set this interface up. This one's currently on track, which means if I tune the SDR receiver, uh, the radio follows as such, and you see that on this here with the CIV and COM LEDs flashing. I can also put it into a manual mode, which I've called Spot, and what that allows me to do is to load the frequency into the, the memory, if you like, of the pick to be recalled when the user wants it. And what this is useful for is if you're doing a contest and you want to, if you've got the, the main operator sitting on its frequency calling CQ, but wants to uh, work a station which is nearby with someone else's monitor with the SDR on the IF, they can load that frequency into the menu, or the memory, as I say, for the user, and when they want to, they just come down and press this button, and when I press that button, the radio will tune automatically. But it also tunes onto VFOB, so if I go to VFOA, I'm back to my original frequency. So again, going back here, if I was to tune, say, this beacon here, which you'll see now is in the pass band. Now the audio is coming from the icon, so that's why it's over here, but if I send load, it then loads it into the radio. So that's the two modes of this little pick. All the details are on the web page, so uh, please go have a play and let me know what you think.